3D model is required. This one was made by Maxim Films and is freely available on Thingiverse. The 3D file is then imported into CAD software, where it is cut up into smaller pieces for the printer to print. The individual pieces are then imported into a software to slice the files into G-code, which is the language 3D printers use. The G-code file is then loaded, and the print begins. A total of 55 individual parts needed to be printed to assemble this model. This took around 80 hours to print everything. The parts are then sanded and using acetone bonded together like pieces of a puzzle. Despite being 3D printed, it is still very time consuming to assemble. ABS glue is then used to reinforce the cracks. The rest of the helmet is assembled in a similar fashion. The parts are then filed and sanded and sanded and sanded some more, and finally coated with acetone again to smooth the finish. The helmet is then coated in primer, and then painted to perfection. Stay tuned for part two, where I go into detailed painting, motorizing the helmet, and adding lights to the eyes. If you enjoyed this video, perhaps you'd like my other videos.